Hey everybody, this is going to be our daily math puzzle question number two. So in this question, we have two kinds of students that are present in a classroom. We've got students who lie and those who do not. The ones who do not lie, I'm going to call them truth tellers. So each student knows, each student knows what kind the other student is. So there was a meeting held today and each student tells us what kind of student the other student is. Now the answer liar is given 240 times. Now yesterday there was a similar meeting, uh, so a similar meeting happened, but one of the students was missing. And in that case, the answer liar was given only 216 times. So we want to know how many students are present today. That's the question. So as always, feel free to pause this, feel free to, uh, to work on this, but if you want to see the solution, keep watching. So here we go. Okay, so this is the idea. We want to again address how many students there are present today based on how many times we heard this answer of liar today and yesterday. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is I, I am thinking, well, we've got this group of people made up of truth tellers and liars. I'm trying to again figure out that total number of people. And again, this is for today. I'm thinking about today. Now I broke it up. Suppose we've got A liars and a total of B truth tellers. Now we heard that the answer liar was given 240 times today. Let's think about what each truth teller, you know, would 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 say to us. So we look at the B truth tellers, right? If we look at the B truth tellers, each of the B truth tellers is going to correctly tell us that yeah, yes, there are A liars. So the B truth tellers are going to tell us that there are A liars. And well, what's going to happen when we look at when we when we go to interview the the liars? What's going to happen in that case? Well, each of the A liars is going to lie to us. They're going to look at the B truth tellers and say, oh, well, the truth tellers are actually liars. So the A liars are going to say that there are B liars because they're lying. So the A, the, each, of, each of the A, each person in the group of liars is going to say, yep, there's B liars. And we know that that equals 240. Or equivalently, right, we can we can add that together and we would get 2 times A times B equals 240. Okay, and you could divide by 2. I'm going to leave this alone, though. You'll see it here in a second. Now, yesterday, let's, let's think about yesterday. We either had one fewer liar or one fewer truth teller, but I don't know which one it is. But honestly, I don't care. We're going to go through the same argument. So... We, we again heard that yesterday, yesterday there was an answer of, what was it, 216. We, we said that yesterday the total number of answer of, we heard the answer of liar given 216 times. Well, let's do it again. Each of the B truth tellers is going to correctly tell us that there are A minus 1 liars. And each of the A minus 1 liars is going to lie to us and say that there are uh, B liars. So again, if we uh, do the arithmetic here, let's see, it looks like we have 2B times A minus 1 if we simplify, or 216 equals 2, I'm going to write this as A times B minus 2B. So I'm going to use this equation. So either that happens, or we can do the same argument on the other side. So again, we have 200 and 16 answers of liar. Now, in this case, we took one away from the liar group and left the truth tellers alone. Well, notice in the other situation, I'm leaving the number of liars alone and taking one away from the number of truth tellers. So again, one of these two situations happened. Same argument. So each of the B minus one truth tellers is going to truthfully tell us that there are A liars, but each of the a liars is going to lie to us and say that those B minus one truth tellers are in fact liars. Okay, so the same way, if I combine these, uh, these equa this expression on the right, I'll get two times A times B minus one, 
Or again, if I simplify, I'll get 216 equals 2AB minus 2A. Okay, so I now have these two equations, and let's go back and keep the one that we had a second ago, because that's what happens today. So we're almost in business now. Okay, so we know this happens for sure. And we know one of these. So we're getting close, so one of these. So let's just assume, let's assume it's the first one. Let's assume it's this one. Let's assume the 216 equals 2AB minus 2B situation happens. And that corresponds to when there's one fewer liars. Okay, so let's assume it's that. And then we also use that other one, that 240 equals 2AB. Now, let me rewrite these. Um, yes. Let me uh, rewrite these. Let me put this one, whoops. It's not quite how I want to rewrite it. Let me put this one below. Now, if I subtract these, notice if I subtract these two equations from each other, on the left side, I'm going to be left with, what, 24 equals just 2B, and in that case, B equals 12. So I know that B equals 12. Well, um, from that, since 2 times A times B equals 240, that's what we assumed happened. Well, again, we could divide both sides by 12. So if we divide both sides by... Well, excuse me, by 2, let's do that first. That'll give us um, a times b equals 120. But now using the fact that b is equal to 12, we're going to get that a is equal to 10. And so we would have uh, a students plus b students, which would give us a total of 22 students. Let's see what happens in the other case. Well, in the other case, we could do the same thing. I could still use today's information, which is 240 equals 2 times A times B. But now I'm going to use this other equation instead. So that one was 216 equals, well, there we had 2AB minus 2A, right? That was the other equation that we had. The same thing. I'm just going to go through the exact same argument. You're going to see that everything works out basically the same. So I'll get 24 equals 2 times A, or I should say almost the same. Um, A equals 12, but again, using the fact that 2AB equals 240, or again, if I divide both sides by 2, we'll get A times B equals 120. And if we know that A equals 12, then we know that b, again, is going to have to equal 10. So again, we get so again we get 12 plus 10 equals 22 students. So the, this is going to be the total answer. Total number of students. The total number of students uh, present today is equal to 22.